So here's how I use Notion to keep up with the books that I want to read. I've had a list, a spreadsheet for years of books I want to read, and Notion just does a nicer job of keeping track of it. And I know a lot of you have similar kind of lists, and so I've looked at a lot of those and got some ideas. And for now, at least, I've broken into three columns. Books I want to read, books I'm currently reading, and books that I've read. So I keep a list of that. I may build a separate one called Archives to tuck some of those away as, as it gets longer, but I don't read enough yet to make it matter too much. So this is what I have here. Uh, but I did want to show you inside of these columns. So this is a board view. You can set up a normal board view in Notion to handle this. Uh, but I did a few things in here that I think help make it a little bit easier for me. You'll see some of them say business and running and some of that, and some say Kindle, and then you see the author's name. So I've built a handful of properties inside each one. We'll go into like preeminence here, and you can kind of see what I have. So the status is that column to read. Author I put in here too. I take a picture of the book to put it as the cover and as the um, icon there, just so it shows up a little bit more. Not totally necessary. The big one, and the reason I started my spreadsheet years ago, was why. I would add books to a list or throw them on my Kindle and then months later come back and say, why on earth did I get that book? What inspired me? So now I make a quick note of just why I got it. So when I come back to it later, I say, oh yeah, I remember he spoke there and it did sound interesting. So I remember to read it. The type, just so I can filter by different types. I have you know, business running, apologetics, just self-improvement. I may add more as time goes on there. Format is when I buy it, where is it? And so that's where you see some are, most are Kindle, but I have a few somewhere <laughs> that are um, actual physical, physical books, most are Kindle. Uh, that way I know if I have it. Um, so I can put Kindle there because I have it on Kindle. Some of these in here, like I have some of these on Kindle already. Again, these are some that I bought and then I come back to them, like, why on earth did I get that? And so in this case, hopefully I can come in and that's, ah, Tony Dye recommended it to me a year ago. Um, I probably should get around to reading it. It's procrastinating on purpose. So I guess I'm doing a good job with that one. But um, some or others just, just, you know, Art of War, Man's Search for Meaning, books that I know I need to read and just haven't gotten to yet. Um, others like Building Story Brand I read years ago, don't even know where it is, so I think it's time for a refresher on that. Uh, but anyhow, that's that's my list there. I'm really just kind of dragging them across as I go, getting them knocked out. Uh, as I have new ideas, I drop them in here. Uh, a lot of times, uh, before things hit Notion, just because Notion's still a little clunky to add things to quickly on the go, I'll throw it in Google Keep. Like when I was at this luncheon about preeminence, I just pulled up Google Keep, or maybe in a little notebook in my pocket and just wrote preeminence by Glenn Jackson. Then when I got home, I processed that, put it in here, got the picture, you know, sort of made notes of it. But long term, when it's time to sit down and read, I can pull this up. I'll probably focus on finishing these two because they're both great books and then slowly just kind of pick out which one I need to do next and keep going through. So I hope you find that helpful.